Hola a todos y a todas, ¿cómo estáis? Bienvenidos a Tafa Gaming, a la aventura de Mass Effect 3. Después de las fiestas navideñas y Año Nuevo, Reyes y todo esto, que durante ese tiempo no he tenido tiempo para grabar, ni para jugar, ni para nada, pues aquí estamos otra vez en nuestra aventura. En el último capítulo creo que hacía tiempo que no juego, pero creo recordar que nos quedamos en la ciudadela. Ahí logramos uh, completar algunas misiones, tres o cuatro, pero cogemos unas cuantas más y ahí, ahí nos quedamos. Uh, recuerdo que teníamos que hacer una faena con, con el tema de Aria para conseguir que los mercenarios que trabajaban con ella pues eh, trabajen con nosotros en nuestra causa para liberar la galaxia de los segadores y ahí nos quedamos vamos a continuar a ver qué ocurre hoy a ver si sí, nos quedamos aquí esto era sí. esto era el afterlife creo que se llama esto o... Ah, Purgatorio. El Afterlife estaba en Mass Effect 2. Bueno, vamos a ver el, el, el tema de, de datos. A ver qué tenemos que hacer. Mira, área, área. Estas son las misiones que hemos pillado. Y estos son los para conseguir estos mercenarios. El Eclipse, los solo azules, la pared sangrienta. Uh, esto es. Uh, esto lo tenemos que ir pillando por ahí, por el espacio, por algún planeta. Eh, encontraremos un, una red de energía mejorada eh, tenemos que ir a la frontera de Isma para unos componentes pues, del prototípico de, del prototipo, perdón un componente de la frontera de Isma y va a ser la ciudad ¿eh? vale. esto es lo mismo ¿eh? Benin, esto tenemos que encontrar también eh, pruebas del embajador Domi de su hijo que no sabe si está muerto o está vivo esto es una misión que nos saltó que tenemos que ir a la academia Gibson a ver qué pasa ahí esto es un DLC. Eh, esto es un qué es. Esto es para el tema de, de Primarca. ¿eh? Que tenemos que invitar a los Krogan para, para una conferencia. ¿eh? Para ver si, si, si se enrollan y también vienen con nosotros. Eh, luego esto es Ido Prime. Esto es un otro CDL. Esto, 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 creo que es otro DLC. ¿eh? Bueno, eso es toda la faena que tenemos que hacer de momento, pero aquí lo que pasa es que pff, como vas andando por ahí, pues ala, vas piando más. ¿eh? Vamos a ver el mapa. Con esta gente ya hemos hablado. Tenemos que ir a los espacios públicos. Aquí está, esta es una, una misión de la de la de área, ¿vale? Uh, esta es también de área, el Darner Bosque este Bosque Darner Bosque y ahí está Garus también a ver, qué más o menos hay laboratorio, hospital ahí hemos estado ya, hemos estado hablando con con la doctora Mitchell con Zay, con Ashley bueno, y aquí es la embajada, vale, vámonos a los espacios públicos, que miedo me da ir ahí, porque pff, vamos a pillar un montón de Shepard, un momento, por favor. Un montón de faena. No hay pasa eso. Esto está lleno de gente. Y vas andando por ahí, raca. Misión, ¿eh? Ahí va. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are... You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first team inspector. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, that's good advice. Well, estos Let's dos pingüinos se querían... Se querían meter en, en la en el ejército y yo les he dicho que, que se dediquen a hacer al hospital, ayudar allá a la gente. Mm. 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 Mm.
Wars took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity. Otra visión. Ir uno. El libro de Fonin. Of course. The Book of Plenix. Este creo que lo conozco yo. Este... A ver qué hay por aquí. Esto, esto lo tengo que comprar. Comprar, porque no se me mueren los peces. Thank you. Ask about our full service warranties. Welcome to Canala Exports. Here, Canala Exports. We believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Yo que escuché ya, eh. No es fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. Esta le pone los cuernos al, al marido. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the citadel. We need to start manufacturing. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home. Well, eh? Nar, ahí está Nar. Ahí dentro. No tiene nada. Vamos. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Nero. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and. Try to look like I beat you up or something. Lo materiano me cae más mal. This goes wrong. It's your ass. Quiet. I have to look even more powerful than Creep thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. Commander Shepard wants you to know. Your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Quill? What? You have my word. <laughs> Now open fire! Not him. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Me gusta ver el gato de flor de terminus. Bueno, ahí no sé qué ha pasado. Entre ellos han traicionado los borcha. Son más cortitos. No sé si hemos conseguido algo ahí o qué. Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. No. I don't think I can do this anymore. What? I know what you mean. 
thought our training prepared us for everything, but this. Every time that Asari commandos leave, you should just start screaming. It's supposed to be helping her. But I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. It's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. No sé de qué hablan a esta serie. Tiene una movida aquí. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal. Otra misión. The clutch will be in peril. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I took a fee on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Remember, all purchases... El cliente no siempre tiene la razón. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine Armory. El tío pesado lleva ahí. Dando la vara. Para que le ponga el dinero de una tostadora. Y se ve que le está dando la paliza al pobre vendedor. Mira, aquí está el choque. Magnificador de Poledos por la ciudad. Good hunting. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to a ver, ¿con quién hablamos primero? ¿Con Idi? O, o con yo. Vamos a hablar con yo. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. El Joker es que tiene una enfermedad de los huesos. Los hue no sé, lo ha dicho el nombre, pero no lo recuerdo. Eh, tiene los huesos de cristal. Y se rompe las piernas, los brazos muy rápidamente. Y se ve que, ha, que va diciendo por ahí que Eddie es su asistente. Habla con Eddie a ver qué dice. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Hmm. 
they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. <laughs> Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Aquí qué ha pasado? O sea, se está cociendo un romance entre Eddie y el Joker. Entre un, un robot todo metálico de acero inoxidable o de lo que sea y este que tiene la enfermedad de los huesos de cristal. O sea, que flipa. No sé cómo van a poder hacer sus cosas. El Joker va a estar en el hospital a dos horas. Con los huesos rotos. A ver. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Pues dice que se acuerda, yo no me acuerdo de esto. A ver, ¿qué más hay por aquí? Hombre, la churri, está aquí la churri. Still working? One call leads to another. And here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Iso, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Bueno. Nos ha dado un chivatazo. De un bolus. Que es ese el de arriba. Este. Que había aquí arriba. Que nos va a dar un chivatazo de unos mercenarios que igual también. También se viene con nosotros. Para ayudarnos en nuestra causa. De liberar a la galaxia. De los segadores. Commander Shepard. Oh. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. 
Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Are you passing on the location of these mercs for free? Their leader's offering a handsome commission for their rescue. Everyone wins, Commander. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Estos, los bolus estos, son más interesados. Siempre están buscando hacer negocio. Bueno, otra misión que tenemos aquí. Vamos a ver, yo ya no tengo ni idea por dónde nos hemos quedado. Datos. Oh, diario. Oh. Ah, tenemos que ir a hablar con el comandante Bailey. Ah, vale. Ahora el padre de las turbas, vale. Bueno. Vamos a hablar con Bailey. Ya está en la embajada. El sistema aquí de las misiones está muy mal optimizado. Llega un momento que no sabes por dónde andas. A ver, ha sonado un pito aquí. Comandante de vale. Shepard, what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. And my assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Bueno. Esto es así, eh. Bueno, ya que estamos aquí, vamos a, a ver. Si sí, tenemos algún mensaje de aquí, o de la bola, vamos a, a dónde tenemos que ir ahora. Che. Esta tenemos que ir a verla. Aquí está, vale. A los espacios públicos otra vez. Bueno. Tenemos que hablar. Voy a dar un poco de caña a esto, porque si no... Oye. 
Nu că lagul este. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris in her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, 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 yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Hmm. Oh, esta está como una cabra. Pero esta es la la jefa de una banda de mercenarios. Creo que son los soles azules, puede ser. No sé. La cuestión que está ahí metida. Y tenemos que deshacernos de ella. Podemos presionar a Bailey para que la suelte. O podemos, no sé, buscar alguna otra solución. Vamos a ver, ¿qué hacemos? Ya sé lo que hacer. Ha hablado que tiene un segundo. Un segundo, o sea, un... Tiene al ayudante o al segundo de a bordo o algo esto. Vamos a hablar con eso. A ver qué nos dice. Este vamos a hablar con este predicador. Aquí es donde estaba esta, la, la rubita esta. Ya no está. Ahí hay uno que tenemos que hablar con ese, pero este lo vamos a hablar primero con este. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's este. find some room for them. And this is going to be Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging you to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Hmm. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Bueno, entonces, ¿ahora qué pasa? Mm. 
No sé. Vamos a ver este que quiere. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. Vale. <coughs> Tenemos que hablar <coughs> con el general borrachín. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok of all people got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Well, lo de la loca creo que lo hemos solucionado. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Leave one moment, please. Lo dejamos encerrada y se hace cargo el el otro, el el segundo. Now arriving at Presidium Common. What? I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. I just need to tell him about it. Al general. Yo creo que está por aquí. Claro, ahí está. El general borrachín. A ver. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Cora's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. One. Aquí la movida hasta ahora. Que hay uno que vende 
armas especial es destraperlo un traficante de armas y tenemos que convencer al traficante de armas para que le venda las armas al general y el traficante de armas está ahí a ver qué nos dice esto look commander I don't want any trouble I'm authorized to sell here and all my arms are legal see these are lightweight weapons where's your top end inventory shit you slumming for c-sec too I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude yeah I got much better stuff but it's off the market galaxy's going belly up credit won't mean anything once the reapers rip through so what exactly are you saying whatever happens I figure there'll be survivors but it'll be chaos I'm betting things will run on a barter system so I'm getting a jump my best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value so what gets me access to your top shelf heh <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Bueno, aquí tenemos dos opciones. Hoy por la galaxia, buscando las piezas especiales que quiere el traficante de armas para que éste le venda las armas al general o podemos ir directamente al general, decirle que, que se olvide el tema y si no lo hace, decírselo a Aria para que Aria se lo cargue Eso ya si quieres ir de malote o si quieres ir de buenazo a mí no me apetece que maten al general, aunque se lo merece, pero... ¿Ves? Me da la opción de hablar ahora con él. Iremos por la galaxia buscando sus piezas. Voy a ver... ¿Este qué quiere? Ay, no, este es. Ah, echar un traguito. Commander Shepard, ¿verdad? Matriarca. Matriarca Theta. Here you're pulling folks together against the Reapers. Drinks on the house. Thanks. What's an Asari Matriarch doing at a bar? Serving drinks. Sometimes I fill the peanut dish, too. I don't think so. It's got something to do with Liara, doesn't it? Yeah. You could say that. We are ever tell you about her family. Her mother is matriarch Benezia. The one who went crazy and joined Saren. Liara isn't her mother. Let's hope not. Anyway, she's never met her father. And well, that was me. <laughs> You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she never even met me. Sorry. If you were human, you'd both be called the mother, regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Benezia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a boyfriend who used to work for Cerberus. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Venezia and... Well, maybe... That's not gonna happen. No argument here. I only took these crap jobs to keep the matriarchs happy that she's under control. Just as long as we're clear. Nobody messes with my girl. <laughs> Maybe you're good enough for her after all. I bet she'd like to meet you. 
Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Una cuestión. Que esta es el padre de Aria. Y la madre era Venecia, que en Mass Effect 2, en Mass Effect 1, perdón, era la que está con Sark. Que tiene una dominga que no veas. A ver. The bartender over there. The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements. She's your father. I know. You know. I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Liara. Oh, fine. Segunda flota a Sal. Come on. You can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And you What? bugged my office on Ilium. Ya hemos hecho ahí que se reunan. A ver. Datos. Diario. Oh, ah, ya, solo es azul. El tan voz quiere de los solos que me haya generado. Se ha caído. Nos queda esta. Nos queda esta que es la de buscar. ¿Ves? Las cosas especiales por la galaxia. Para, para el tema general, vamos. Entonces... Yo creo que es hora de pirarnos de aquí, ¿eh? Vamos a hablar con Aria. No ve qué nos dice. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? Vale, la morada sangrienta. Are the blood pack falling in line? With Grill in charge, where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The blood pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My control of the Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm going to slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got seasick eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get an ovarian rub here. In other words, I'm in hell. Sounds like you have a lot to worry about. I'll get out of your hair. You're quite the comedian today. We'll be seeing each other soon, Shepard. Mm. Bueno. Nos queda lo del general. 
para completar la misión. Vámonos a Normandía. Y ya está bien. De estar aquí en la ciudadela. Muy de Normandía. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. A dar un voltio por el espacio. Sí. Bueno. Tenemos mensajes, a ver. Omega. Es la hora, Shep, pero estoy lista para hablar de ese proyecto que te mencioné en purgatorio. Ven al muelle con el toda la ciudad. Un batería llamado Bray te estará esperando. Vale, esto es un DLC. Es un DLC, ¿ves? Ciudadela, área ¿Qué tenemos que acabar? La misión de, de la Ciudadela para el tema de los mercenarios, lo que es lo del general, ¿vale? Y ahora han asaltado un DLC, la del DLC de Omega, ¿eh? que también han asaltado. Eso es para recuperar Omega con Aria. Ese DLC recuerdo que está muy guapo, está muy bien. Es difícil, ¿eh? Pero vamos, es uno de los mejores de... Bueno, creo que es el mejor. Luego está el de Levecia. Levecia, creo que se llama. Pero vamos, ese, ese lo, me lo pasé bien jugando. Pero eso necesitamos tener... Uh, o sea, no podemos ir ahí en plan... Vale, ya. o sea, tenemos que tener nivel ¿eh? para jugar a ese DLC. Y como nos queda todavía el DLC de... Este... A ver, datos. Nos queda este, ¿eh? el de Eden Prime que es otro DLC, haremos primero este haremos lo de lo de la Academia de Gilson vale y, y este de aquí igual hago este, la doctora Gilson no sé y lo daría Talo también lo haremos pero eso será en otro vídeo de momento voy a dejarlo aquí Que llevo casi una hora jugando y grabando y tengo que editar el vídeo, editar la imagen, sonido, luego renderizar, luego subirlo a YouTube y eso me va a llevar prácticamente todo, todo lo que queda en la mañana y algo de la tarde y eso es lo que hay, ¿vale? Quería comentar que este juego para los que os gusta el tema de, de pelea continuo y shooter y, y todas horas está peleando, no es para vosotros, ¿eh? aunque tiene acción, pero este juego es mucho de hablar con la gente y enteraros de todo y es en plan película, tienes que hablar, tiene, hay mucha cinemática, la cinemática es muy larga, tienes que hacerla porque tienes que tomar una serie de decisiones para poder coger recursos, ¿sabes? y tienes que hacerlo así. Uh, yo estoy jugando de tal manera que lo estoy grabando todo, ¿vale? Pero vamos, si os resulta aburrido o algo de esto, lo puedo editar y quitar de, de los vídeos. Pero yo no lo aconsejo porque la me mejor manera de jugar es así. ¿eh? Es hablar con todo el mundo y hacer todas las misiones, todas las misiones secundarias, pillar todos los recursos y empaparte bien dentro del juego, meterte dentro de, de la historia. Porque este juego tiene historia. No como otros que simplemente pegan tiros y ala, va, 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 va. Aquí no, aquí es. Tiene su historia y hay mucha gente y tienes que hablar con ellos y, y tal, ¿vale? Uh, de todas déjame en los comentarios qué os parece. Si queréis que cambie mi forma de jugar o si sigo así. La otra cosa que podéis hacer en, lo, en los trozos que os puede resultar aburrido porque la cinemática y demás y, y que se habla mucho, pues. No sé, avanzar un poco el vídeo y saltaros ese pedazo. No lo aconsejo porque si no, no os enteraréis de lo que es el juego. Bueno, vamos a ver. Eh, los fans de Mass Effect saben de qué estoy hablando. Y me imagino que este, estos vídeos 
Uh, si los de la público que lo ve son. ¿Este qué quiere? Ah. ¿Saludar? ¿Tu rato? Uh, bueno, lo que iba diciendo, la, la gente que son fan de Damas Effect 3, yo creo que le gustará que juegue así, ¿no? De todo completo, hablando con toda la gente y, y enterándote bien de la historia, ¿vale? Venga, pues lo dicho, nos vemos en el próximo capítulo y hasta luego, adiós.